And welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Today we're going to kill a thief and then take a city. Um, I could have actually swapped my Templar back into the back row once more for that battle. Just so he would have saved a little bit of health. But I think we'll be fine. Let's just go for it. This actually does work out. He's in a good spot to deal with this. Uh, we can take the hill giant. Hmm, let's see. How should we do this? Herm. I yeah, he's doing 60 damage plus 15, so he's doing a good 75. My Wraith is going to die. Unless I defend with it. Which I think I'll do for one turn. And then see if I can get the paralysis. Oh, he'll... Oh, good, good, good. See, that's why we have... Um, the Templar, as opposed to the Skeletons. Because now we will survive this. Barely. Um, especially if we miss a Paralysis or two. But if he hadn't had that Earth Ward, he would have died instantly. And now the only person doing damage to us is this a uh, warrior, which we can deal with fairly easily. And that takes care of all of them, except for one guy who can't do anything to us. So here we will wait, 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 and wait. That probably wasn't necessary but I always prefer to do full damage if I can. And now we have our Dark Lord. Much better. And we should have our Shade fairly soon. Actually, we'll have Brian leveled up soon as well. Take my treasure in exchange for my life. There is a chest buried in the cemetery. Take everything you want. We found the jewels the thug spoke about. They are in the city, Master. I... What? There's... Are, they're not in the city. Uh, I don't know what he was talking about. I don't see anything. Well, that is not cool. Maybe they were taken by the mountain clans already? It's possible. They did take the city before us. Let's get a thief in here. See what they've got. They've got a rock giant. And... We have forge guardian. Could be some... A little bit of difficulty there. Another rock giant over there. So this group will be a bit challenging. We should be able to take them out. Um, one at a time, but if they all come at me at once, I'm pretty much done for. Now let's see what kind of spells we can sum er, summon. We can um, research. Um, hmm. Get that one. And then probably get a couple more soon, just the cheaper ones. I think I'll skip most of the summoning ones for now. They're really not that useful. I might get Skeleton just to scout out some ruins here and there. Yeah, that'll be a bit tough. Oh, goodness me. Okay, this will be even tougher now. That's six experience. 
<laughs> was enough to push him into level 3. Uh, that's not going to go well. I might be able to take it. If if we can paralyze. And that's really the uh, the biggest issue. Or, hold on. That one will be alright. That one will be the tough one, and this one should be okay as well. Hmm. No, I think these are all weapon-based attacks in this party. Should be alright to deal with that one. And we should be okay to deal with this. Uh, I don't really want to take them on while they're all grouped up together, though. Hmm. Well, let's try it. We can use this. Yeah, take out the tough one first, I think. Okay, awesome. And do we have enough infernal mana? No, we don't. So we'll use Plague instead. And that should kill the Tenderfoot, yep. And then we will also use Curse of Nigrail. And then we should be okay to deal with this. And then even if the other two parties attack us, I think we'll be fine. Okay, this looks good so far. Mm, should I attack or should I defend? Uh, I think I can get by with attacking. And Okay, they're actually running away. This is perfect. Because now I can kill them without issue. Hmm, should I attack with him? Yeah, let's do it. And then hopefully Brian can take out the Tempest Giant. And then all that's left is this guy. That actually worked really, really well. If he had attacked, he could have done some damage to me. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got a Shade and we've got a level 6 Brian. Two life potions, a lightning scroll, ruby, orb of healing, emerald, silver ring. Okay, so those are probably the jewels that were in the city. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I think I'll bring her forward. Have her sit in this city instead. Because she can defend... Uh, this choke point fairly easily if she's in there. And then we will end the turn and see if we get attacked. I'm thinking we'll be okay. Now that we've leveled up a couple units as well, we should be one of those parties that they avoid. They might go for our city though, which isn't really an issue. They could take it, I'll just take it back. They're just gonna run by. That is okay. Now, oh, we got leadership. Okay, so now I can get that warlock into my party again, so I can have yet another wraith. I think that's probably the best way to go. I mean, weapon master is really nice, though. I guess I can save that for the next level up, and then might for the one after. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Then this is an easy one. Okay, so I'm gonna actually hire a couple thieves. Just 
just to see what I can do. Um, counterfeit orders would be wonderful. That actually works out really well. I can go for that. Okay. And then try to poison. And then, can I still make it? Oh yeah, I can make it no problem. I'll hire one more to get a couple more poison damaging um, things done. <laughs> get a couple more poison attacks off, how about that? And then send Brian in for the kill. I suppose I could have stopped in the city. His initiative is 40. Okay, I can deal with that. And it's a weapon-based attack? Okay, even better. So I can kill one of these. What is his initiative? 50 minus 55. It's probably best to do it this way. There we go. Took out the only two who could do anything. And now next turn we should be able to take out the other party as well. Mm, 2350. That'll be a while. Can we do anything, really? Um, let's just go into the city and wait. Her move forward. Oh darn it. Have her move up here I guess for now. And end our turn. See what that final Mountain Clans party does. I'm guessing it'll just run away. And we've got a couple units that are really vulnerable and probably would die if they attacked but Brian is in close proximity so he'll probably just take off oh no they will attack yeah so that was a complete waste of a werewolf a thousand gold down the drain but now we can try to take out this party. Mm, not as nice. Let's try that again. That's still terrible. <laughs> it's the same thing. Um, who... Let's put one of these in the back row. His armor is... 20, I think. 25, maybe. Hold on. Let's find out for sure. His armor is 40. Okay, so he can probably take some damage. In the front row, let's put... Hold on, what was he? Yeah, on the bottom. Okay. Should be alright. Be a little bit difficult, maybe, but we can handle it. Let's try to take out the rock giant first. He'll be the one doing the damage, 90 damage. Let's have her defend, or him, it. Then kill this thing, I guess. I mean, the rock giant is a priority, but no, oh, never mind. We've got this, no problem. You can wait, and you can attack. And then you can wait as well, and we should be able to take this out. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that was not so bad. And we should get good experience for that as well. 80. Not bad. And then who else? We can bring her up here. The warlock can be transferred. And then we can... 
have our party completely set up the way we want it. Have to rearrange things a bit, but... Oh, really? That's interesting. We're going to ally with the Empire. That was really not expected at all. But appreciated. That means we have one less race to worry about. And we can see what he's got without bothering with thieves. Huh. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I will end the video, so I will see you next time.